G'day guys, it's Crispy Wings. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm fishing out at one of my favorite spots to fish on the Hunter River, so let's get into it. All right, so the wind is up a lot more than what I thought it would be this morning. So I'm going to head straight over this way. Uh, there should be a bit of cover from the wind and I might fish there. The wind is supposed to die off around lunchtime. So I think I might hide from the wind because it's bloody cold and uh, see what I can catch around there. I want to be throwing the uh, die with double clutch most of the day. So I got it in the two sizes. I think this is the 75 mil and I've also got the 95 mil tied on to my other rod as well the uh, tide coming in and the wind pushing across us right here in front of me I reckon is a good spot for Brim and Floody to be hiding out. The uh, water has actually been pushed around this little bit of a bay here and uh, there's a good good spot here where there's not much movement of water so I reckon it shouldn't take too long to get a fish in here if they're in there. Alright guys, so there's a bit of structure around here. From memory there's a few poles that stick out. So we've got a few that are already sticking out but there's a few underneath. So I'm just going to cast around here and see we can, what we can get. Alright, so no luck with the die with double clutch. Just going to try out this grub now. See if we can have more luck. Tell you what, if I do catch a fish in here, it's going to be hard to get out. I can just see the poles just sticking out of the water. And we're on, guys. First cast with a grub. I think it's just a little brim. Just a small brim, guys. Ah, didn't take long on the grub. He's already spat the lure too. Just a little guy. Off you go. Well, that gives me a lot of confidence, guys, that there's brim around here. Let's try this again. So I think I was very lucky to get it through those poles. And that time I just saw the, the line take off. That's how I knew I was onto a fish. Goes to show, just changing out your lure. Oh, I thought I was on again. There's those poles that I was talking about, guys. Well, we on, we are on guys. Finally, I slowed the retrieve down quite a lot to catch this fish. Feels like a flatty with these head shakes. It is, it's vicious with the head shakes. First flatty of the day guys. Looks like a good eating size. Yeah, he's in the net, there we go. There we go guys, first flatty of the morning on the Daiwa Double Clutch. This is a 50 centimetre model. It's good eating size this one, but I'm going to let him go. I don't think he's good to go just yet. Yeah, now he is. There you go man. He's swimming off. Still focusing on this one little channel here. This is probably the main one out of about three or four. Probably going to spend another 10 minutes just finishing off this side and then uh, go on to the next one. All right, so I've just finished fishing this channel here, guys. I'm going to focus on the next one. 
and hopefully by the time I finish that one the wind's completely died off and I can fish in probably one of my favourite spots to fish. So I've just come out in the middle of the river and I know of a really shallow spot out here where I've caught some good fish before. It's only about a metre deep, even less. So I've got a shallow diver on, it's a pro lure. I'm just going to cast it around and see what I can get. It's really shallow. can't spend too much time out here I've got to get back to the boat ramp if it oh no all right let's see if I can get snagged on the seaman grub every spot I've gone to try today I've got snagged and lost a lure oh we're on finally he doesn't feel too big. It's just a little flatty. I just saw the line take off again. I was like, oh, I must be on. He is so small. He's about lure already too. That's good. He's only tiny, guys. Get out of here, man. <laughs> he just take, took off. Oh, that took a long time to get a fish, guys. Very long time, a lot of casts. All right guys, so I'm gonna quickly paddle back towards the boat ramp. If the tide gets too low, you can't actually uh, use the boat ramp again. So I'm gonna rush back and hopefully I can keep fishing for a little bit longer around there. So I'll see you over there. Oh, I think I'm on guys. I am on. Just trolling the double clutch out the back. I think we've picked up a flatty. A few head shakes in him. Yeah, that's a flatty. <laughs> He's rolling all over the place, it's crazy. Come here. Oh, there we go. Got to be happy with that. Heading back to the boat ramp and get onto a flatty. There we go, guys. There's another flatty. This one hit 50 as well. So he, he put up a good fight. He was barrel rolling all over the place. It was good to see. That was on the die with double clutch again, guys. Right near the boat ramp. So let's get him in the water and uh, see if we can catch another. Oh, he's ready to go. He's off. All right, last cast, then I'm going home. <laughs>